I love high end decor, but not so much the price tag. I found this wall hanging on Pottery Barn's website and I knew that I could recreate something for less that would look really cute. So I picked up from Dollar Tree a clear tray that you can get over kind of in like their party supplies section. And then I'm also going to be using some rope. Dollar Tree sells this nautical rope for a dollar, which is a great deal, but I actually like to purchase it in a big spool because I use it all the time. And the one I get is off of Amazon and it's around the same price as the Dollar Tree and I'll link it for you down below. So if you've seen any of my rope trays, I'm going to start by creating it the exact same way. So I'm going to hot glue in the middle of my tray, and then I'm going to start tightly wrapping the rope around, adding hot glue as I go to make sure that I don't have any spaces in the rope so you can't see that clear tray behind it. So you're going to wrap the rope around until you get to the very outside edge. Make sure that you go around your tray so that you don't have any of that clear tray showing at the top. Once you get to the end, you're going to flip your tray over and hot glue the rest of the rope to the back. I wanted to mimic the look of that geometric pattern around the tray. So what I did was I just took some craft paper that I had and cut out a triangle. Next, I'm gonna use painter's tape to really help me out here. So I took several strips of painter's tape and I put it onto a box. You could really put this on any surface that you had. Then I'm gonna take that triangle and put it on top of my painter's tape. Using a Sharpie, I'm gonna trace around the triangle. Next, I'll just cut out that triangle. Then I'm gonna place it around my tray. Now I'm going to create several triangles like this so that I can place them all the way around my tray. What I'm trying to do is cover up the rope that I do not want to get painted and leave the areas I want to be painted exposed. So I'm gonna create triangles and follow it all the way around my tray. Now I don't want the middle to be painted, so I'm going to use painter's tape on the middle as well. Now that I have the tray all ready, I'm going to spray paint it with three coats of white spray paint. Any kind of fabric or rope is gonna soak up the paint, so you really have to use several coats. Otherwise, it's just not gonna have that same vibrant look, and it's gonna look a little bit more faded. If that's the look you're going for, maybe only do two coats, but I went ahead and did three. Next, I'm just going to remove that tape and I put this out in a grouping in my home and I think it looks amazing. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.